deadlift day, actually shoulder day. You know what, we like to start out the workout doing deadlift. You know, life, man, I think uh, the measure, the true measure of a man's character is uh, how he reacts to you know, failure and defeat rather than victory. You know, uh, it's easy to win. You know, when you get, get your butt kicked and have something happen and set you back, then uh, that's a true test of what's inside, how much guts you have, and how much soul, and how much drive you have. And, uh, you know, I think uh, for me, one of the biggest tests, I've had a lot of those tests through my career, um, early on, all the way up to the very end. And uh, I think the one that sticks out most in my mind is uh, 2011, you know, I just won the Arnold Classic. You know, that had been a goal of mine since I was a teenager. And uh, I was having a great year. I was training for the Mr. Olympic contest, and uh, I was in, arguably, I felt it. Four weeks out, the best shape I'd ever been in. Four weeks out, even better than 09, and even better than a few months earlier when I won my first Arnold. Oh, boy. Ah. Those two to be my best ever, uh, you know, packages on stage. Then, um, you know, I tore my quad completely off the bone. Four weeks before the 2011 Olympia, and um, I remember laying there in the parking lot in a rainstorm, couldn't get up, and uh, thinking, "Well, this might be it," because uh, I didn't. I'd never known anyone to uh, come back from that injury and come back really successfully from it. And uh, so, you know, I didn't know, didn't know what could happen. So, uh, I had a, had surgery, and I got it reattached. And I think I had surgery on a Monday, and. Uh, that Wednesday, I made my mind up I was going to do the Arnold Classic again to defend my title. And um, they gave me six and a half months, almost to the day, to, to do the impossible. So uh, I started to climb that mountain again. And uh, you know, I had to reach way down deep inside me and feel more pain and train harder and do things I never had to do before. And I guess if you want to do something that's never been done before, you got to go where you've never done before. And you know, that's what I did. So uh, six and a half months later, I defended my title and I won the Arnold Classic again in 2012. Went on the Australia the next week, and I uh, won in Australia, and went on to Olympia and got a top five finish. So uh, later in the year, so you know that year uh, it proved to myself that I could pretty much overcome just about anything that came my way. You know, knowing what I had to go through and the journey I went through from uh, day off toward the quad to I stood victorious on the stage again. Uh, you know, uh, I learned more about myself and uh, what I really had in me than any other competition. So looking back on it, it's kind of a blessing because it made me uh, number one appreciate be thankful for everything I have because it can all be gone in a flash. You know? I love bodybuilding and you know? everything I have, I owe to bodybuilding. It's probably a discipline and work ethic that I've applied in other areas of my life and become successful. So when you see it all flash before your eyes like that, you really make sure you appreciate what you have. You appreciate every day and live life to the fullest. So uh, I think that uh, 2011 being injured and coming back to a few months later when the final classic was by far the biggest comeback and the biggest thing I've overcome so far.